Hey adventurers, welcome to another episode of In Skyrim. Okay, the gang's all back together. I'm happy to help you run any errands you need to. Who do you think this one is? It's so... open. A lot of cities in Skyrim just feel so cramped, if you know what I mean. Yeah. It's much more pleasant to just be able to breathe a bit better. And becoming human again. I'm able to say that literally. I feel like we're happy together. Um. Trade. If you think it'll help. Do I have a um circlet or anything? No, I don't. Bellathor is to sell his wares. Makes him come off creepy. For the record, Yarl Balgrip doesn't listen to anything Mazine says. He just <laughs> lets him into the court, which is still a problem if you ask me. Oh, that arm is still hovering there. And I can't, um, can't even disable it. And before she married my father, always told me to stay away from them. Never knew why, but I listened. Arcadia's cauldron has many ingredients. Even a potion table makes them. Who knows what's making that noise? Yeah. Let's get out of here. Okay, um... Magic away from me. It doesn't look like a grey beard. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. No, he didn't. Okay. I don't know who he is. Stashed in their camps. God do you need something? Know what they do with it. If you think it'll help. Yeah. 
<laughs> um. Okay. No heels on that. Or much shorter ones. The Greybeards deserve equal respect. I think I like that one. Doesn't have the really high heels. Sort of suits it. Okay. Um. Look at all this stuff. I can trust you, like the best of friends. Jump? But the girl seemed so happy to jump. She said she could go home at last. The wind is as fine today as it was then. I think you could do what she did. <laughs> you might die. If you haven't died before, how do you know it's such a big deal? <sighs> that girl. You know, that girl. What was her name? Dragon names are so hard to remember. What do you know about the doll that was here? Are you drunk? I've been here longer than you and there was never any doll. Like I said, a good wind is blowing. Don't worry and leave the rest to kind. Jump up. Sweet hunting. How do you see that? I'm going to turn the light off. Wow. Ah. It's a bit more visible. Radio.
As I said, the wind is good today. You're the second person to come here. Consider it an honor. Second person? A terrible flirt. Just terrible. The name was... Uh, I'm not sure what he said, actually. Just that he came from Alcair. Where is this? Does it really matter? Let's focus on getting you to the castle so you can speak with that girl. The air is a bit cold. What do you mean? It's safe here, which is another word for boring. Wouldn't you rather do something more interesting? Don't worry. Dragon or not, the girl won't eat you. Probably. As long as you don't provoke her. Is that girl a dragon? Half dragon. Still counts. She's not so different from you where it counts, so you needn't worry. Um, okay, there she goes. Of Artis? Nice to meet you. I'm Lightning. Pleased to meet you as well. My name is Arisa. I do hope Aisha wasn't rude to you. Uh, she's a well spoken cat. The she does seem to like you. Just she can be very, very vicious when she doesn't like someone. Human. I tell her to be kinder, but she never seems to listen to me. Um. Oh, yes, I've been rambling, haven't I? Pardon me. It's strange, but somehow I feel as though this isn't the first time I've met you. Well, please take this as a memento. You're probably so cold here after all. Mm -hmm. Maybe I just made lightning too short. Yeah. Okay. What are we doing? Euless. I sense the soul of a dragon about you. Would you like me to turn that soul into power? Ah, uh, no thanks. All right. Just let me know if you ever change your mind. I'd like to help you. What the hell? Don't take this the wrong way, but you look a little sickly. Aisha? Aisha came here when I was a child. She was much smaller and mm, more docile back then. Now she's only that way when no one else is watching. I've lived in Skyrim my whole life and never left. I'd like to visit Cyrodiil someday, though. My father told me to visit Westwall before the Who came here before? Again. He was a very passionate man. He called himself Hijalti when he first came here. But he Jolt. seemed to have a new name each time he appeared thereafter. 
I think he stopped coming after I shaklawed him especially badly. They never got along. Um. Fluffy? Aisha was playing around, and I guess he got so big that he came to life. He can be a little arrogant, but don't hold it against him. <laughs> um. You ever been outside? Once, when I was a child. I wanted to find my father, so I tried going outside. But, uh, that's not a pleasant memory. Men and Mer have long fought with dragons. Your mother? Who's your mother? My mother is very ill. She's frozen the inner parts of the castle and won't see anyone. Ah, uh, not even her own daughter. I don't think she ever really wanted to see me. With my horns and tail, after all. Oh yeah, she has a tail. Need something? Are you a Khajiit? Yes. Khajiit is Khajiit, although Khajiit does not remember much else. <laughs> you remember your name? Khajiit does not remember a name, but must have been a handsome and clever thief, or a mighty warrior, or perhaps a great wizard. Khajiit remembers glorious battles against Argonia. Unless, perhaps, Gajit only reads about them in books. Is there a way into the inner castle? Gajit might have a key. This key might be sold for 1,000 septums. If this were true, Aisha would not hear of it because Gajit does not like what would happen to Gajit. Okay. Here's the goal. Kajit appreciates your wise and prudent decision to give many, many shiny coins to Kajit. Oh, and here is the key. What's in the uni What is the uni castle like? Kajit hears of an ice monster there. Once a servant, now a twisted monstrosity. Kajit steers clear of them. <laughs> You're selling things? Kajit sells things because Kajit likes shiny coins best when they are Kajits. <laughs> Kajit idly wonders whether there is anyone who sells things for another reason. All right then. This no, armor, it just does Oh, 
Oh, it leads in the Fluffy's room. This is the most. Mm hmm. Uh, 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 okay, that's why he told us not to worry about the secret door. Or the hidden door, false door, whatever. 